Kevin's got uh, Bob Bradley here. We'll start off. Just please raise your hand, and uh, we'll get you. We'll start with Kevin here. Or uh, actually, Bob, do you want to start with anything? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, congratulations. What is that? I'm mean, probably the victory, but was it the heart, the fight to the, the kid? What, what do you take out of this game? Um, it needed to be a game where the tempo was high, where the intensity was high, where we pushed uh, from the beginning to the end. And so the response after the last game, every day in training, understanding little details that were going to be needed tonight, uh, that was awesome. And every guy put everything they had into it, and that's uh, that's, a spe that's what makes a special night. So uh, the players, man, they deserve credit. That was awesome. Yes. Bob. Bob. Uh, speaking about little details, can you can you talk a little bit about how your team was able to to find more transition moments, to find more moments where they could get out and run and really take the game to to Leon's back line? I think uh, we were committed to closing the ball down and, and making sure that uh, uh, the game was harder, you know, and that we would make it a hard game, that, that we would push them out of their comfort zone, that we would. Uh, make sure that nobody was going to have an easy play. And that's just uh, uh, the intensity of the group. That's guys closing down. That's the second guy being ready. So it, when you do those things and when balls come loose, you usually have somebody ready to take it and play forward and then move up and, and play at that speed and that tempo. So that was, that was the way we felt we could put them into a game that uh, – was different than the, the other games they have. They're a good team, and, and they they find ways to be in control uh, in most of their games. And from the beginning tonight, they didn't like that tempo, and uh, and that was the idea that we could push them and, and make the game go like that. So it was incredible uh, effort from all the guys. Well, uh, last week the team seemed like a team that was early preparing for the MLS season. But tonight it seemed like a playoff team. Yeah, last week was five weeks into preseason at altitude with a new team. And I thought actually that we played all right. We made a couple mistakes. Uh, we missed a couple chances. And I don't think anybody had a good game last week. All right? So we looked hard at that and understood that, okay, uh, we've got nine days to get ready for the second game. There wasn't one part of the way we went about the first game in Lyon that we were disappointed. In terms of the way we went about it, we weren't disappointed. Right? It wasn't like we went down there and sat back and they had the ball the whole time. All right? So for all the people who said that the first game we were so bad, no, we, we weren't sharp. But we made it a real game. We made some mistakes. We didn't finish our chances. And then we knew that, that we had to push this game harder and we needed more guys to, to be at their best. And look, we have a ways to go. Now we're, we're a little over six weeks into preseason. Right? And... Um, we still have some new guys, and we have guys that just got here, but there's a, the work that's been done over a couple of years to try to make a team that has football ideas, but a team that also has personality and mentality, uh, and how to combine those two. And tonight, you know, th there's been days where you could say our football, the way we control the game was better than tonight. There were games where we had more possession than tonight. But tonight needed to be a game where we were willing to push the tempo and go from one play to the next. And, and so that part of it, uh, the way guys responded in that way, that's what made the difference. But furthermore to that point, obviously you guys had the nine, day, nine days rest, but what, what do you see of the character of the team? Obviously you just said you guys have newer players, people that just came back from South America, you have injuries, a lot of adversity you guys to respond to for that first leg. What do you see kind of the character in the build the, uh, the team coming out here and just having the, the fans back them and being really confident from the, from the beginning of the game. Yeah, from year to year, we continue to try to get better and evolve um, to understand what it means to win different kind of games. Uh, last year, there were a lot of days where we controlled games and we scored some spectacular goals. Um, but we also have to win games where sometimes we can push things more where the tempo goes higher and higher. And... and and, and we, we test teams to see if they can play at that tempo. And, and so we tried to find a mix between the two, but tonight had to be 
more about the, the tempo and the intensity. So I, I think that part of, of the way the team is uh, growing. I th uh, look, we saw it tonight. Now we need to keep going. Well, what about, uh, we'll go in the back here, sir. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations. Um, were you surprised as uh, the way that Leon played, uh, basically taking the night off? Uh, it seemed to me. To crown to us. That's it. I wasn't surprised. They weren't ready for it. Okay. And <laughs> so that's it. Well, you, they, they weren't ready for that. And then, you know, they at times resorted to trying to waste time and uh, embellish plays and whatnot. And we were committed to just playing the game, pushing the tempo, uh, and it paid off for us. Would you consider this um, LAFC's most important victory? This is awesome tonight. Come on. This is when. Some point down the road, you know, they'll look back at, at the team and how we evolved and what we've been able to do. And this night will be special. Right? This night will be something for our supporters uh, and our fans and for our players. This is a night where now, uh, with our backs to the wall, we, we, we really got everybody on board and pushed a game and came out with an incredible result. What about the atmosphere? How important was to the crowd to play at home? Atmosphere here is awesome, and we went into Champions League knowing that it's important to our fans, and, and so uh, we, we were excited, and we were going to celebrate being in Champions League with a big effort tonight. You know, we, we were determined that we weren't going to make a quick appearance in Champions League and, and let it slide right out. And our, our supporters and their uh, their passion and the, the, the way they are always there for us, that's really important. Yes, right. And looking up at the beginning and seeing the TIFO uh, for Kobe and Gianna was incredible. Was incredible. There needed to be one thing um, that, that in addition to all the work and all the things that had been said uh, over the last nine days, one thing to top it off to understand what a night like tonight needed to be in terms of competing and winning and the Mamba mentality that Tifo said at all. And uh, three more questions. Go ahead, Matt. Congratulations, Bob. Uh, can you talk about the defensive performance tonight? I know LAFC plays a team-oriented defense, but the idea that every goal they own scored would have made it that much harder to get the result that you got. How impressive was it that uh, LAFC was able to get the shot? That was team effort, you know. Uh, they, uh, I think they had seven shots for the game, none on goal. And so uh, you play big team and you push and you are committed to stepping up and trying to play in their end. And at the end of the day, the other team hasn't had a shot on goal. And that means a lot of guys have been really big players. And then when the line was high and we needed uh, Kenneth to read things, protect us behind the line. He did a good job. But I thought across the back line, those guys all uh, had really big games. Uh, we got really good attacking play also from uh, from Tristan and Cheeky. So in addition to working hard at times when our front three were narrower, narrower they were able to join in and come forward and uh, had assists. So, uh, you know, we felt that, that we needed to find a good balance for how we push them into the attack at the right time. So. Uh, across the, the back line, guys have really, really strong games. Coach, Coach Myra Gomez, first of all, congratulations. You talked yesterday about how for the past nine days you've pretty much driven the boys crazy about how important it was for you all to win, what it meant for the history of the club. Can you describe what it actually means for the club and what it means for the MLS eliminating a team from Liga MX? Yeah, the competition between MLS and, and Liga MX uh, is important. It's not like we go in thinking just about MLS. We think about ourselves. We think about now the opportunity to be in Champions League, play against a really good team like we all. Uh, and you get these chances in football. Uh, we talked a little bit about what Liverpool was able to do against Barcelona. And, you know, you think back to that game and they were missing Salah, they were missing Firmino, and how the effort of the whole team and the atmosphere inside Anfield. And, and so we try to use examples sometimes to say, come on, it's our chance. Um, because if you make it happen, it's a it's a night that everybody remembers. The, the, the players, the supporters, 
and, and so we tried to just focus on how do you make a night like that happen, okay? Um, and, and as I said earlier, we really wanted to try to push the game and push, uh, and, and put Leon in, in a game that was different than the other games they've had. They've, they've been on an excellent run, they've been in control, and we tried from the beginning tonight to see if we could uh, make that game different than the others, and I think we were able to do that. Last question, go ahead, Josh. Bob, we've seen MLS teams in this tournament who make deep runs, struggle in league to start off, Toronto and Atlanta. How do you weigh this tournament versus league play, and how do you avoid those slow starts that teams like that have had? We have to turn around quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, when there's Champions League games on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday this week, <laughs> and we have the league opener on Sunday, uh, I'm still confused how we ended up on Thursday night. Right, that makes no sense to me. Um, the answer is going to be TV, and the answer is going to be that the people who allow it don't understand uh, that it's impossible to turn it around for every guy uh, in less than 72 hours, whatever, do the math, 64 hours or something like this. Right? Um, but if you go back to, well, that's a fine. <laughs> uh, but if you go back to the mentality of the team and now uh, trying to size up uh, how to rotate a little bit, uh, look, it's our home opener. Uh, so we've got to be ready. You, you talked about other teams that couldn't manage both. We're going to try. We're going to try like crazy to make sure that the, the same football and the same mentality uh, is there every night, regardless of uh, the competition and regardless of who's uh, on the field. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, we're done in here.